Are your finances making you see red, feeling like you're in a bullfight with your budget? Don't worry, we've got a financial expert here to help you take the bull by the horns and steer your finances in the right direction. School's first federal credit union will help us tackle those financial stressors head on. Let's welcome Brittany Owens, financial education specialist with School's First Federal Credit Union. Hello, Brittany. Hello, Desiree. All right. I mean, every time we got you here, Brittany, we're talking finances. <laughs> we're talking about the money. We want to keep the money. So what are some red flags to look out for that might mean you need to assess your finances? So that's a great question. There's those obvious red flags, such as maybe a job loss or, you know, unfortunately, you know, a long-term illness that could affect our income for the negative. Yeah. But there's also those red flags that aren't as obvious, such as like, hey, I'm using my credit card for my day-to-day -day usage. You know, we'll want to stay away from that, especially if we're having to use our credit card to get us from paycheck to paycheck. And if we find ourselves doing that, we'll want to keep our balances low. That magic number is to keep the balances below 30%. As soon as we take our credit card usage over that 30%, it brings down our credit score, which we want to have a high credit score yes. so we have a better interest rate on those credit cards. All right, so we want to keep that good balance, keeping it low. So once we pinpoint those red flags with our finances, how do we get back on track? So after we found those areas, we'll want to take a deep breath. Yeah. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, there we yes. go. <laughs> and we'll want to find a designated space and time for our finances. And when we're doing that, pulling up months of statements. Pull out your credit card statements. Look to see how you're using your expenses. Um, get your highlighters out. Highlight your mm -hmm. fixed expenses, your variable expenses. Your fixed expenses are going to be like your rent, your mortgage, your car payment, those prices that do not change. Yeah. Your variable is going to be like our fast food, our coffee runs, and see if we can make any changes to you know our expenses to be able to save some money yeah because i feel like even if you make those simple small changes maybe you don't go to get coffee out every single time and you make a cup every now here and there you're going to see those improvements made with your finances exactly <laughs> you'll be able to save some money there we go we yes. want to save money and i mean understanding where the money flow is taking place seems to be key so what's your advice on tracking expenses and gaining control yeah so gaining control we have to understand you know, with the situation in our life, is it going to take a short-term fix or a long-term fix? So, for an example, if we lost our job or had a long-term illness, that's going to take a long-term fix. We're going to have to, hey, we have to get a second job. We may have to downsize as well. Whereas if it's a short-term fix, like using our credit cards to get us from paycheck to paycheck, we can make better money habits, such as, you know, cutting back those coffee runs, looking at some of our variable expenses that we can change day to day yeah for me it would be my fast food you know food prepping at home to make those changes yes and then when you make your own meals you feel better anyway yeah. so just just do it yes. <laughs> okay and then do you have any advice for those who are struggling to see progress maybe they're trying but they're just not seeing anything change yeah well i wanted to that person congratulations for taking that first step because that is a huge step to take and it can be challenging to take that step alone when it comes to your finances but there are so many organizations out there that will help you with that. Um, be mindful of the organizations that are gonna charge you a monthly fee to lower your expenses. Um, at Schools First Federal Credit Union, we have an amazing financial partner that we work with. It's our, it's our Green Path Wellness partner, and they are amazing. Um, Green Path Financial Wellness, they're gonna help you. They're gonna hold your hand and walk that financial journey with you. If you wanna learn about credit, they're gonna talk of credit with you. If you wanna yeah. create a budget, they will walk through your budget with you, line by line by line, to help you to find ways to increase your income, you know, lower your expenses, also would help you improve your credit or help you to buy a home in the future. Yeah, so you don't have to go through it alone. There's plenty of resources, like you mentioned, Brittany, that Schools yes. First offers. So our viewers need to check that out. Brittany, thank you so yes. much. No, thank you. <laughs> you bet. And you can visit one of the many Schools First Federal Credit Union branch locations as seen on the screen. And you can find out more online by going to schoolsfirstfcu.org.